All right, everyone, welcome back to the Bravo stream. Things are certainly starting to cook here in Salt Lake City, and we've got a beautiful series to bring to your eyes. We've got Shopify Rebellion taking on Pure in our winners' quarterfinals. We are into the championship bracket now, and Bravo, this is one that is uh, going to be quite special, I think. Really excited about this one, and it's been such a great weekend already in SLC. Uh, by the way, you and I were just commenting, unbelievable crowd here already. First match on the main stage is just loud. And guess what? Here on the beach stream, we've got another fantastic matchup. Pure versus Shopify Rebellion, I think. First of all, Cherish just making his way through Rat Tunnel and just bonking everyone on the head. But to talk about what's on the line in this series, it's, these really are the two teams. Shopify, of course, has done it more consistently this season, without a doubt. But if you look at Shopify and Pure, it feels like the two biggest threats to the throne. These two have been placing top three, for in this case of Shopify, top four in the case of Pure. They're really trying to cement themselves as mainstays. You look at some of the results we've had this season as well, as Tolik managed to get the Snipe beatdown. And both of these teams have beaten the biggest teams in the world at some point during tournaments. So that's what you've got to keep your eyes on here. As it's not just this series, but how the progression is afterwards as well. But off the rip here, as we find ourselves with some live fire oddball to watch. Early time is going over to Shopify Rebellion. So I think they'll get that count five as well and do some really good damage. As you would expect from him, but cherished. A little reach out top middle. And he's actually going to pick up a triple kill by the looks of things. So cherished almost single handedly breaks the setup. Last shot will get the trade on to Mental one. Now Cherish comes away with ball, sniper rifle, and everything on the map, as he should for the play that he just made. Yeah, absolutely. That was four dead. Also, they get the first pick as well. Take a look at Truck picking up another one there. So it's going to allow them to get a little bit more time. Rotate to green now going to come into play. But, man, what a treat to have these two teams here in the champ bracket already going up against each other. And not just where they are in the bracket, but you feel like in terms of energy, intensity, momentum, uh, young guns across the squad. This is a big matchup. Yeah, it certainly is. Everybody on this stage right now is looking to impress and has been the players who have impressed us in recent tournaments. And Cherished certainly been one of those who can lay a claim to that title for sure. At the moment he's last alive, the ball does get played and he's immediately rotating towards the bottom middle. And actually, sneakily, going to grab that ball away before Shopify Rebellion, even though they picked up the kills, can get in a position to get that old ball back. So recognizing the situation there, even though everyone was dead, he wraps it back to spawning teammates, and now they have Shopify Rebellion 3 dead. It's a very, very smart play coming in from Cherish. Yeah, another good rotate as well. Just love how we've seen them prioritizing this ball movement. Now look at the spawns all coming in. This will be continued time. Really, really solid from them. And even being able to drop and shoot here, just watch the nest angle. See if he challenges maybe a bit. <laughs> that, that looked wild on my screen. I don't know about everybody else's screen. 46 to 14. Same thing. You know, <laughs> okay, I'm like, wait a second. Nice play ball coming in right away. No, I love this. This is just very, very solid Halo. It's gonna probably. Oh no, it was a weird QT in the observer mode. Is what we saw there. So, do not adjust your television screens. Jux the last player alive from here. As always, I'd say shout out to everyone who's watching on a television. Truck now with the camouflage. It was the first one that went over to the side of Shopify Rebellion. They got them in the, a little bit of an early lead, but since then it's been all pure. Almost 50 points on the board for them in this game, in this first round. A lot of it was down to that decision that was made by Cherish to wrap that ball back to those spawners a few moments ago. For now, though, it's a battle for control of bottom middle, where that off ball is going to be spawning. Two dead on the side of Shopify Rebellion, and Drak has had a really good start to the game as well. But oh boy. Cycle is going to get the shot. After suppress, it's the body. Yeah, you had a feeling wrapping that corner. I don't know. I think you just kind of feel it. As you're about to wrap that corner, there's someone about to be here, and that's exactly what happened. Still a sizable lead for Pure at 49 to 17, but now Shopify. Know that there's a lot of time on the clock, a lot of time to get right back into this first round. Suppress just pushed forward a little bit hard there. With that sniper rifle, and it's going to be three, make it four dead immediately for Shopify Rebellion. Once again, the battle of bottom middle, or as Dan Gaskin likes to call it, the little battle of bottom middle. Wild to hear that in his accent, isn't it? Yeah. By Shopify Rebellion, uh, excuse me, by Pure. So Pure, not for the first time here. Wrapping that ball back to tower, and they have last shot this time with a full sniper bullets to play with. Got He's it. into the bodies. Not missing. Last shot, we talk about him. He's been too good to ignore this season. Certainly one of the, the top players that's made a splash in terms of where what he's done this year, but knows that his biggest series are yet to be ahead of him in terms of the year. I'm quite connect that time around, so I'm gonna back up. So I'm oh, gonna God. keep out. Hit by a large. No! Oh my God! That one hurts even more. Last shot with a double. And continues to impress. The press is going to be next. The play ball does come in, yeah. but that's a killing spree for last shot. Last shot, if you take a, maybe a little bit of a different angle. Actually, by the way, Suppress got around back tower around both those players, so there's definitely credit to you. Yeah. Pulse out. Nice job from last shot. What a, just what a run to watch from him here. 
But I will say, Sabres does very well to force that play ball because he got actually, as you saw from Lashout's POV, he got behind both players there. And if Lashout had taken a different angle or had the intel, it could have been a very different scenario where they're still holding here. And maybe even a triple for Lashout as well. Finally, he's taken down. But Shopify has a huge task ahead of them. They're down by 48 points with 146 left. They'll get damage here. They've got a couple of kills to go alongside it as well. Cherished will find one. Traded out, though, almost immediately. And Soulside will get that next camo. So it's two camos going to the side of Shopify Rebellion and just the one over to Pure. Now, Shopify need to make something of this. It's been a little bit of a scrappy game for them so far. Only that early time, really, on the board for them. And it's Pure who have not only been out slain, it feels like, but out rotating. That ball grab bottom middle tonic. Oh, absolutely. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful shots. You saw that perfect come in. It almost felt like he got it, it like one shot sooner than he should have, right? It just felt like he ripped him. But that is Tolik, and that is Tolik on land. So the Shopify slowly started to come back. Excuse me. Difficult for me to stay fan, family friendly there. But yeah, I understand that. And they just say nothing sometimes. That's, That's why I had to pop in. Yeah, thanks for that. I figured I would just keep describing the gameplay. Yeah. Cycle then. The uh, Shopify Rebellion starts. Just muster up a little bit of a comeback here. He's just trying to wrap behind these spawners as the ball will now move to the back of the green. So a little bit of transition in where that old ball is going to be held. Last shot will be taken down after the trade comes in from Soul Snipe as well. So pure struggling to get numbers on the map at the moment. And that just means more ball time is going over to Shopify Rebellion. Now they've got more info. They've got more damage. And Cycle is trying to answer back from the run we just saw from Cherish with one of his own. Great damage. Look at this. Beautiful extra damage on Sandbags, barely takes any himself. Now he can keep wrapping around. He has to make a decision here, though, as the entire team has pushed up, so he needs to get behind him, and right now it's a good flank. Shots. It's the shots. He does. It's going to be killing spree immediately. Afterwards, it's going to be ended. Oh There's a body from Soul Snipe, but it's going to be, once again, not for the first time, a aqua based play as the ball will be reset. And Shopify Rebellion will find themselves three dead. Pure straight on the old ball again, though, and even though we saw. A flip in the scores. It's going to be Pure who now go back into the lead. With not too much time left in this game. Yeah, double lead change there. They're going to keep scoring. Keep an eye on the kill feed right now because this is the key moment in this game. Really will determine which one's able to pull it away. Right now, Pure is three dead. Four dead at the 84 point mark. But because of the huge comeback from Shopify, they will look to grab right away. And to be honest, if they get the first two picks here, this could be the game. That's really good nades coming in off the respawners, though. And you can see the ball player is one shot, but one shot is not good enough to take him down and stop this rotation from Shopify Rebellion. Now Pure have to break. Pure have to win these fights. Cherish will win the first. First one and stay alive for a few seconds afterwards. Last shot finds another one himself. It's a 2v2 on the map. And Tolik and Pure, they've managed to get that ball back in their hands. 87 on the on the board now. It was a 2v3 momentarily. They need to fight strong out of this because the pressure will be coming in. Two green spawners coming in as well. A little bit of a split suppressed camel could win the game. What does he do with this? He needs to play it well. Two dead on the side of Pure. They can afford to pick this odd ball up and they need to. Enemy has the ball. Debating. Shopify Rebellion get the ball in their hands. Now the difficulty for Pure is, yes, you can get four on the board, but there's more than likely going to be a pick that comes in from the point of view of Suppressed. It will be Shopify who go into a lead. Tolik gets that first pick, and now Suppressed has to fire the gun, which means he's going to give his position away. Cherish in a 1v1 in the back. It's Tolik who finishes it off. It's three dead for Shopify Rebellion. Mental's last alive. He's no shields. They will break. And with only seven points needed, Camo, full setup. Shopify Rebellion just cannot hold. They're going to rotate here. There's going to be a Sandbags push coming in right now. They need to make this push happen. Nades on window. He gets taken down at 97. 97 ain't going to do it. Cycle now trying to push forward. Great shots coming in from Druck, holding this position down. Last but he is the last guy alive. Mental's oh trying to survive here. Oh He's got other God. players to deal with as well. He's going to get the shields broken on one. Just trying to buy time, but the spawns are so far out here for Pure. You have to wonder if they're going to be they able to touch the ball. They died on it. Oh they can't God. get it. Druck. Oh, my Druck. God. Holy Druck. Expletive. Unbelievable from Druck to stay alive. 1v4 on the scoreboard that long. Keeps them off the ball. That will secure the round. Wow. Holy Druck. That is absolutely ridiculous. You look at the play on the side of Pure. It's brilliance from Druck. You look at the play on the side of Shopify Rebellion. You think someone has to make a desperate dive for that ball. Someone has to take responsibility in trading that kill out with Druck, but they just don't. It's as simple as that. They don't make that play. And Pure will be up by one because of it. Unbelievable from Druck. I cannot wait to watch that back. What Talk about a sequence that will never appear on a stat scoreboard, but defines the game, but wins the game. I'm getting chills. We just watched it here, and I'm getting chills just thinking about it, and I apologize for the hangover that I have from it into the second round. But 
as we settle in here, what a play. You look at that situation. You see a player in a 1v4 on scoreboard, and you think, at 97-93, this is over. There's no way. But somehow, he gets two players so weak on scoreboard, they can't find him, they can't flood him. Takes them forever. And he stays alive long enough where spawners on the cuts prevent the grab. Beautifully done. Slow start to the second round. My god, what a play from Druck. Love what we just saw. They earned that one. One thing I will say is that Tolik is shooting bullets right now. He's shooting absolute missiles. Every single time we see him in a 1v1, he seems to be winning it. 17 and 12 in this game. Last shot, 21 and 17 on the other side of things. It's Cherish who has the most objective time. 71 of the points came with the ball being held by him. On the other side of things, it's a little bit more sporadic, you would say, when it comes to the slays. It's only Cycle who's really a standout at the moment, but the objective time is a little bit more shed out. It is indeed. 10 to 5 off the rip for Shopify. What a, what a round to start this series. We earned we already knew this series was going to deliver, but I think that just kind of amped things up even more here as we settle into the second round. Cycle wins the 1v1 against Cherished. And that will be pure three dead momentarily, and Mental can finally breathe. And I think Shopify Rebellion can finally breathe. It's been a hectic, hectic end to that previous round that is carried on into the opening of this one as well. So Shopify now get that first pick on the respawner as well. Drop goes down alongside last shot. That's going to give them plenty of space here to work that ball towards green for a elongated hold it should be a kind of hold with the spawns and the kills they're picking up that should take them towards the 50 point mark keep in mind shopify mounted a huge comeback in that first round and i think if anybody had to place bets moments before that game ended they probably would have said shopify's taking this one off of about a 50 plus point comeback that's going to stay certainly kind of top of mind for them cycle with a very nice qt to get out of that still has one more back if he needs to of course he does right back to the same angle but you, you feel like Shopify is probably going to take that one to heart, right? They're, they're going to bounce back, and it's probably going to give them even more energy to make sure they take this round. It's a nice lead for them, 49 to 5. What was finally played, though, which means it's about a middle to start once again. There's one that's simple double should be. However, Druck has already proved that 1v4s are enough for him to survive longer than he certainly should. Tolik finds another one in the feed as well, but it's only one that's going to give them the opportunity to fight for map control. Cycle trying to survive here, pure. They're going to scrape that ball away from bottom middle, but as they do, Mental finds one. But it's just trades. It's, a, it's been like just trades for the entirety of the last days. It really has. And Shopify, if you ask them, they're fine with it with a sizable lead like this, a 43-point lead. Essentially half the round already in the bag and in terms of a lead. They're going to continue to trade out and slay out until they can get another convincing hold. That ball will reset. Cycle just looking for opportunities to find bodies at the moment. It feels like he's kind of he also used the punt. That. Cycling the hunt the map. We'll Waiting for damage to come in before he can take care of it. All it again, this being a difficult oh. kill. And even though it's a double kill for Cycle, he's now got to wait for his shields to come back. And elsewhere, Terrence is going to even those numbers up once more. Mental's the one that gets a snipe. We'll see how much ammo. Seven shots still to his name. So he's going to be able to do some damage with this. Let's see what he can do. It's the nice shots. It's the second one as well, almost. Turned it into a beautiful looking double kill, but you've given the snipe over to this man, and I tell you what, he is the kind of player that if he can heat up in a game like this, can drag Pure back into this. Great start though, God. On the side of Shopify Rebellion, but last shot with the sniper rifle has the chance to blow this setup over. Yeah, let's see what he can do. By the way, how about what a treat. Like, it feels like the last shot versus the mental battle. Just two young guns, of course, very different land experience on each side of that stage, but. I love how this battle's getting up as well. I shot bodies, should be cleaned up. It is in the end by Tolik. Important 1v1 here between him and Mental. Nice shots for Mental. Yeah, really good survivability as well. Just didn't want to give an easy kill away whatsoever. Pure find themselves at two or three dead, and that's going to mean the cycle can grab that ball again. It's been a fantastic response yeah. from Shopify Rebellion in this round after the heartbreak of the previous one. They probably feel like that should have been theirs, but they're certainly making sure of it this time. They really are. And you feel like with the caliber, the pedigree of Shopify, they're the team that does take that, that loss pretty heavily in the first round. Then they're going to bring that intensity to the second round, and the scoreboard tells the story. It's still 74-6. to six. What a performance here in round two. Now it's a situation where they don't really have to worry about the oddball too much. They can take their time to make sure the setup is perfect. They can overslay if they need to, knowing that they have such a significant lead. But with the camo here, tolik has got some responsibility because... Shopify Rebellion find themselves now 15 points away from closing out the round and singing, sending us into a round three. Mental going to get away for just a second, but the teamwork comes in. Still too dead for the side of Shopify. And Kalik just really taking advantage of this camo, making sure that nobody's around, nobody's behind him. He knew someone was around scoreboard, and Cycle should be an easy finish for him. Cycle does well to get that melee, but it'll still be too dead. This could be the end right here. If you're going to 
to have this ball in their hands, but it's going to be a really tough one for them. You can see they are down by such a significant margin as well. The spawns are coming in over a green, and even though damage is being applied, the damage needs to be turned into kills. It has to be turned into numbers, and Mental will escape for now. QT coming up in a few moments as well, as that sniper rifle top middle. So if they can get them on their side, and then again, can get a little bit of control. If they can play off of the killing spree from Tolik, then there is an opportunity for a comeback here. There is. It would be very pure of them, you know, a pure thing to do in terms of getting a comeback here in this game. Not going to be easy, but they've already, I think, quadrupled, or if not 6x their score from a few moments ago. So that will bode well in terms of slowly starting to mount this comeback. Just this is, by the way. Love that from Last Shot. He gets an extra few points on the board as well, but you got to imagine with three dead from Pure, might see a Shopify grab pretty soon. That's with the sniper rifle back in his hands. Got plenty of ammo to work with as well. Last shot gonna skid out the top middle. And boy, did he make him pay for missing wow. that shot. Yeah, great geez. team shot comes in, but last shot doubling back, hit at least three or four of those bullets. Yeah, that was great from last shot. Just to use your term from earlier, just snapped onto him right away, made him pay. 88 to 39 now. Pure to yeah. continue dealing this damage and would have to have some of the finest rotates that we've seen in a while if they want to steal this round. 18 seconds left, though. It's not going to be easy, and this should just be final few moments here for Shopify, even if they play clock. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're looking to play clock at the moment. You can see they're just trying to bait that ball. They're trying to force Pure to make your plays. And by forcing those plays, they're falling into the trap a little bit here. Pure have escaped with the ball towards green, but with numbers falling. It's cherished the last shot, who are just essentially trying to elongate the game, hoping that a miracle happens. So finally, the play ball is going to be forced. And with that, the game clock will expire, and we will find ourselves going into a final round here as we are tied up at one to one. A quality response from Shopify, and to be honest, I think the response that you expected to see from a team like this, just in case you haven't been following exactly where these two teams have been all season, Shopify has become a top four mainstay. We've seen them in the top three as well. Pure just really bursting onto the scene in Atlanta, specifically into the top four. So as we said, what's really at stake here is much more than just this, you know, winner's quarterfinal as Ford will fall in the end. Mental's the last player alive on your screen. Let's see what he might be able to do in a big 1v1 bottom middle versus Pollock. Oh Whoa, my are you God. kidding? No. Oh, survives! This is crazy. Do you talk about a battle that someone has no business winning? That would be it for oh Mental. Oh my Mental. Last, talk about la heroic last player alive efforts. This is it. Jeez. I mean, this is the level of Halo you can expect to see in this series, right? Mental at the moment. He's just kept his team in a position to not be trying to break a full setup. He's broken through himself. Some of those shots that he hits with a sniper rifle. He's got no right to be alive here. And look what happens off the back of it. Finally, will be have his life ended, but what a run that was. What a run, and what's amazing is there was even a few shots that he missed, and it, the run was so good that that, that didn't even take away from it. It felt like he had already done so much damage. The ball would be played, three were dead, drunk, only player alive, but mental in a 1v4 bottom middle turns it into an unbelievable scenario. In the end, there's not a lot of points exchanged, but really the bigger play was that he's able to keep Pure off the ball, and now you're gonna see Shopify with an early lead. Two dead here for Pure, two dead on the other side of things though. Well, that's going to turn into a four dead. Pure will find everybody having to wait a few seconds to get back on the map here, and that means guaranteed time for Shopify Rebellion. And this is, of course, this hold that got them in the majority of their time in the previous round as well, and Pure found it difficult to break. Cycle just going to try to hold window here. It's been a fantastic start to this series. What I had started to say is Drug will have a successful push there to get two players from Shopify go down. Probably a play ball, yes, indeed coming in for the side of Shopify. What I started to say earlier, three will fall, maybe four. Yes, all four dead for Shopify Rebellion, is when you think of these two teams, this is much more than a winner's quarterfinal here in Salt Lake. There's going to be right, only one of these two teams probably in the top three, if that, at the World Championship. That's what's actually, right? This is the beginning yeah. of that battle. That's where my head is at between these two. Yes, they're going to have to go through one another in this bracket, but I think that they know that it's crowded at the top. And if they want to take home not just the prestige, but the enormous cash prizes as well that come with the World Championship, that battle, really, that rivalry that's really developing between these two starts right here. Let's go for my teammates as well. You got Soul Sniper on the side of Fly Rebellion. Yep. Uh, team with Jurok and Tarlik went a different direction. Enemy has the ball. Always nice to get that one over on your old teammates. Enemy has the ball. Regardless of what side you're on, Cherish now looking. Kills top middle, Druck is going to find one, and again, this game has just been about trade so far. It's only been that one kind of wrap towards green to control by Rebellion that's given them any significant time, but even you want to significant time. 29 points on the board with at least three or four minutes gone on this round. It, it shows how tight it is. Speaking of significant, 
Let's talk about some stats on the board. It is Mental, who is stepping up in an enormous way. 38 and 25 in this game, leading the entire game. And he has over 100 points of objective I mean, time at the moment. He's holding the oddball as we speak as well. Doubling more than any difference maker. Double more than anyone else, finally, is speaking of the devil. Not an easy kill. Finally, he's taken down. Melee damage on the way out, but because it's four dead, that melee probably not going to be a factor in the speed of the push. But this is insane from Mental. Double the oddball time of anyone on his team. Most kills by a huge margin. And also right up there at the assists as well. This is an unreal performance from Mental so far, but we'll see if they can close it out. Druck with the ball in hand. Had a really good opportunity there last shot, just to hit a body shot and clean it up. Or maybe just peel someone, but unfortunately for him, just couldn't really connect with that sniper rifle, and that has allowed the break to to happen here for Shopify Rebellion. It's forced Drugs to retreat, it's forced them to try and get out all the way from where that push is coming in. And off the back of it now, you see them find themselves two dead and cycle with the ball back in his hand. So we're about to see Shopify Rebellion cost the 50 point mark in the next few moments, which they will do. And now for Peel, we're starting to get into the squeaky bum time, as we like to call it, where you're thinking about being down one in the series. You really are. It's a very different round, I will say, than our first two rounds. Pure has done very well to keep this close. Let's not forget, at this stage, it was about 53 to 6 in our round number two. So Pure keeping this one close and three dead. Cycle the man on your screen is the last player alive. He's being pesky. Last shot knows about it. He'll force the trade. Soul Snipe is going to be the first spawner. We'll see if Pure can make this enough time on the board. To be honest, they're climbing their way right back into this. Druck doing a nice job with the QT to just be a nuisance. Now he uses it to get behind enemy lines. Love this. Yeah. The call outs come in with Cycle, and Soul Snipe were waiting for him, watching that port. And as soon as he came through and challenged, they find their reticles training onto the same player. Cherish will find one bottom middle. Two dead on either side at the moment, but for Pure, these kills that happen in the next few moments are more important. If they can get them, they may be able to flip this lead. Camo coming up as well. Some of the grenades going down on the cuts. The player's weak. Mental will be taken down by Druck, and the man who saved Pure in that first round now has an opportunity to be the savior once more. Very nice from Druck to get that kill on the key door and snag Camo as cleanly as he did. That's not easy. He needs to get this, though. Oh, get some help as well. Otherwise, that could have been dangerous from Suppressed. Just like that, essentially a tied game at the midpoint in round number three. We wouldn't have it any other way. Ooh, those grenades and the remote deaths. Gonna give away Drug's position, has to retreat, has to play this one slowly. If it's fired out here, a trade will be fine, but that's even better. Three dead for Shopify Rebellion. Last player information has been gathered, a couple of shots into Mental, but most importantly, last shots away with that oddball. And now look at Drug's position. All of Shopify Rebellion are spawning over a green. Should maybe be a rotate here? I'm expecting to see a rotate, especially if they keep the pressure. But it is a lead change, most importantly for the side of Pure. 62 to 55, it is a rotate. It's a beautiful rotate here through Camo. You got the feeling as soon as they started to go green to nest, that rotate was gonna come in. It's really well executed. Now it's a decent lead for Pure. Shopify Rebellion needs to push one of these lanes out though. That's exactly what they're trying to do. However, Mental is there alongside Soul Snipe top middle. Soul Snipe who has 40 kills to his name, but 42 deaths alongside it. 70 points on the board here for Pure. Shopify Rebellion looking to clean out all the final players. The ball was not played. Not played. Not played at the back of green, which means that Shopify Rebellion can grab it as the push now comes in top oh, middle. And Mental up. adds another kill to his collection. Beautifully done. Ball still not played, by the way. It's getting dicey here. Two dead for the side of Pure. Shopify will continue holding here as they maintain that man advantage and the angles that they need most important. This is such a big moment, and Shopify Rebellion have won the individual fights. The big ones, the clutch ones in these last few moments. And because of that, they now go into a lead. 75 points and rising. 54 seconds or so left on that game clock. We saw Shopify try and play time previously. The question is, will they do it now? As Pure are forced to break. How does Soulsline play this? He knew that the pressure would come. Drop was ready for it. Ooh, my. Honestly, a good effort for both teams there and both players. It's a really smart play to get the QT down here because he can grab this odd ball. Yes. And also, if he needs to, he can throw it out, QT out, and then re-enter the fight for the off-ball bottom middle. Tense no. moments here in these final moments. 74 points on the board. Cherish has to hold that ball, and Druck with the double kill is going to give him the space to do so. Absolutely, and now you're about to see a lead change once again here as they tick to 82 points, 83 and 84. A lead change here, Shopify. Excuse me, Pure will go into the lead over Shopify. Camo's coming up as well. Trades bottom middle, information collected. Again, everybody is trying to flood through bottom middle by the looks of things to Shopify Rebellion, but they need to break in the next few moments. Drops on the flank once more. Soul Snipe, Beautiful. he'll go Look down. Mental goes down as well if he finds this next kill onto Psycho in the back of the base. Solid, this might be the game. He's buying time. He's dipsy doodling. He's going to re-challenge and does the damage for his teammates to move in. Drug gets the camo, and with that, surely, with only 20 seconds left on this game clock, 
Pure should be able to close this out. One more push coming in here. That kill's huge. That's the first pick. The push has to come on scoreboard right now with 10 seconds left and doesn't look like they're going to have the pieces. Yeah, it's not going to happen. You can see they get the kills they require. They grab the oddball for the last few moments and it will be Pure who go up 1-0 to zero wow. here in our winner's quarterfinals. That is a hell of a game to start off this series. It really is. And let's not forget in round number three, they were trailing 53-26. to 26. It's a comeback for Pure in the third round as well. They had to earn that victory, not only losing the second round, but trailing in the third as well. A come from behind win in the third round to close out game number one. A lot of work to be done by Shopify Rebellion Pure, looking like the real deal once more. When we get back from the break, we'll have game number two coming your way. Hey everybody, this is a real one, we promise you. Sorry, everybody look into this uh, red light. And boom! You didn't see that restart. You've been neuralized. Anyway, you have been neuralized. Here we go, set up for game number two here on Recharge, going to be a little bit of Slayer action between Pure and Sharp and Fire Rebellion. Pure, if you didn't catch uh, the last game, managed to clutch up in that final round. A little bit of a comeback from them to take off all on Live Fire 2-1. to one. But now we are into the Slayer and oh, we're going to be watching these two teams battle for that camo. Straight off the rip bomb. Brilliant. The call will result in a trade as well. 2v1 on that. Now 1v1. Lash, last shot versus Soul Snipe for just a moment. As both players are going to let Shields recharge and now meet once again in World Cycle. Just at the last second, From the, the angle Woo. comes in to help him out, and that is going to allow, even though they get that kill, not to escape with the camo, but suppress. He's going to chase it down. Shark Rifle now in the hands of Mental. And he is challenging because he knows that Cycle yeah. is trying to push into the tower himself. So Cycle gets that kill, and that allows Mental to not only get away with the Shock Rifle, but for Shopify to really start this one off in the way that they would have wanted to respond. 7 to 5 to score. Tries to get an angle here on Tallick. He's too dead there. Just mental and suppressed work together. Now it's just mental. He's being trapped here and now being flooded. Ooh. First one looks good. Doesn't trade though in the end, so it will be two dead yet again for Shopify, which will mean Pure will go into a slight lead. I love about the way these two teams play. I feel like there's a lot of similarities yeah. between the way that they approach the game. Pure obviously known for being a very aggressive team who are going to challenge you, but then you look at the other side, you've got players like Soul Snipe, you've got players like Mental who are, even with the challenges coming, have the individual skill to hit the big shot yeah. to slow down those pushes. So it's a real kind of battle between the two play styles of the teams. Some of them, sometimes it's matching, sometimes it feels like it's a, a kind of a chess match between the two as who's going to hit the shot, who's going to find the opening. I agree. You get Oftentimes with these two, you get really in-your-face gameplay, right? Just kind of like flying right at each other, and, and it's been a real treat the whole series. Without a doubt, still neck and neck, 12 to 10. Shopify will still the lead back narrowly. Make a play on Midbridge to get to his teammate. Last shot to flank, potentially out towards those players on pipes. Soulside putting out a lot of damage at the moment, but none of it is turning into kills. He's just trying to hunt at the moment. Cycle finds one in the tower. Another player going to jump out. The front of the tower is going to be Tolik. As the camo now pops bottom middle. So that's what you see in this rap come in. Shopify rebellion up by one after the first power up session has ended. Oh. Keeping an eye here. Interestingly, Cycle with six on the board. Mental actually certainly a share of assists, but yet to actually register a kill at the 16 to 13 mark. It's rare to see that. You get the feeling on the Shopify side, if Mental starts to pop off as well, that they could run away with this even more. The man on your screen right now is Cycle. He's eight and two, and he's on a killing spree as well. 18 to 13, once again, that gap starts to open a little bit more. A Shopify Rebellion seem to wrestle a bit of control away and are able to collapse on these players. Cycle will add another one. That commando is a really fire. The problem for anyone is a double kill for him. He's going to be three dead on the side of pure last shot, last alive. And at 22 to 14, he's going to have to try and survive long enough for his teammates to get back on the map, but Mental sniffs him out. Yeah, honestly, when you saw where his position was, last shot's going to try to fly up. Probably get Probably get to take. Oh, he stuck him! Oh my! He stuck him! He survived! What an unbelievable sequence to watch from the opposite POV. Fantastic shout out to oh our observers for God. staying with that POV just because, oh my God, last shot was one of the best getaways, I will say it, in Halo Infinite. Now the game is within four. Uh, the craziest thing about that is this, 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 the play we see is crazy enough, right? The fact that he gets the stick doesn't trade, but then more importantly, keeps Mental on zero kills as well. That would have been Mental's first kill of the game. Now he's got a second. He's going to be sat there going, how did I not get that kill? Nothing is going my way. He's still alive at Elevator. He's just running laps around Elevator. And just like that, Pure is now only down by one. It was just 19 to 13. And now it's a tie game. Absolutely ridiculous run. This and Mental is still reeling. Cherish has got the shock rifle as well on the side of Pure. And he's looking for some bodies. Mental. Nearly finds himself at zero and eight in this game. And oh, he will indeed. Cherish flies forward. 
for the killing spree. 76 for him at the moment, but what a turnaround this has been. And finally, it looks like Jumperfly managed to trade a few kills out. Man, finally they'll go back into the lead, but I mean, to watch how that began, to see how that comeback developed only off that POV and an unbelievable effort from last shot. Just as quickly as we say that, Shopify will get a nice string of four straight kills to put them in a four kill lead, so it might not be enough if they continue at this pace, but what a sequence that was. It's been off the back of this camouflage as Shopify Rebellion they managed to get a little bit more control of the map. Cycle 14 and 6 at the moment. Mental finally gets his first kill. It's going to be a trade, but I'll be honest with you, he doesn't care. It can be a remote detonation. It could be accidental. He's off the board. Really nice from Cycle yet again. Cycle 15 and 7. And exactly. Mental knows. Mental's been on many main stages before. He knows it's a team game. He doesn't care if he's 1 and 9. As long as you got teammates that are also putting up great numbers. Cycle 15 and 7. All he cares about at the end of this game is the win. But clearly, Pure not making it easy. It's still just a two kill game yet again. Cycle with Suppress will make that a little bit bigger though. Four kills now, the difference of 14. Elimination needs to come in on the side of Pure to tie this game up without trading, but Cycle is still picking up kills. He's 17, he's positive 10 oh, at the moment in the game. That's only got 37 kills through his entire team's name, so he is doing heavy, heavy lifting. Heavy lifting. Let's see what Last Shot can do. We already saw that exchange earlier in quite a run. Now he's going to have an important 1v1 in pipes. He connects with the first oh. and also is able to finish. That keeps the game within four. It's such a big kill as well because that was that was a lot of pressure coming onto Last Shot there because if he doesn't get that kill, not only does he give Shock away, it can be thrown towards mid-map and a lot of eyes could be put onto it from the side of Shopify Rebellion. But by winning that individual in. and keeping the shot by oh, it's oh, now a way me. to get back into oh this God, game. No. Big shots being hit by Last Shot again. And even though he doesn't have much experience on this main stage, he is a kind of player who looks like built for it. Yeah. Yeah. one there, Mental and Last Shot, and I'm not getting tired of watching that battle. Mental will win that one, and it felt like a pretty important one. 2v2 momentarily here at back C. Still just a two-kill game. Wait, he switched, though. So you see the Cherish was escaping. His teammate was trying to give him a little bit of help just to hold off that push, but two players from Shopify Rebellion just flew in. And Cycle now, 17 kills to his name. Only 10 needed for Shopify Rebellion to close this out, and he's found himself with the next power-up. The camo is in his hands, so maybe just the game is as well. Curious also where that shock went. Surprise is not in Cycle's hands. We'll keep an eye on that. Now just a one-kill game. Here comes the push of gold. Suppress will find one. Cycle finds his 18th. On the other side of things, the man who's trying to chase him down to keep up with that pace is last shot. 16 and 10 for him. So for the first time in this game, it feels like we have somewhat of a standoff between the two teams. Eight kills required for Shopify Rebellion, but only 11 on the side of Pure. Dicey moments here. You can feel it now. Everything for the first time in this whole game slows down. Five minutes left on the clock, but you really get the feeling we won't need them. Everything going to slow down likely until the next power-up pop. Just a three-kill game. So much on the line here. Well, let's try and have a little peek here. Suppressed has that green gun, though. And he can shred shields so, so quickly. They'll be getting that audio cue as well, knowing that that thing is glowing and hovering. Suppress will get the pick. And now you can see the collapse is starting to come in. Suppress trying to buy his life. Druck is in the 1v1, but here comes Cycle. Cycle will get another kill. It's 19 for this man on your screen right now. Five kills required for Shopify Rebellion to tie this series up. Uh, the first time in the game that we have seen Cycle fly into Whirlpool and help with a kill. He knows where to be. He knows how to make sure his team is not even trading. And just like that, off the fantastic push and control, they have Shock and only four kills to go. Druck, weak. Trying to retreat back to his teammates. All this be there as well. There's two players to deal with. Suppress recognizes it and managed to just about back out of that before he became Maybe the first kill in the comeback for Pure. Camo has just come up. The press taking some pretty risky angles here. And just, just about to stay alive, oh, but now comes the pressure. Time. Still alive. Drunk will take him down, but gets traded out. They'll take that trade, to be honest, at the 46 mark. Now it's 47 41. A few more of those, and it'll be all she wrote. Pure not going to go down without a fight, though. Can they keep this interesting? Still 335 left to play with. Certainly enough time to play this slowly and play their game. It's all it from Pure. Playing some very, very cheeky angles, but it looks like we might have had, unfortunately, someone fall out of the game here, so... It will be Tolik who man. disappears just at just the wrong moment. We will get right back into the game as soon as we can. We apologize, everyone, for the delay and things that we can't, unfortunately, uh, sort out ourselves. But we'll be right back in a few moments for the conclusion of game number two. Slayer. 
Welcome back, everybody. 47 to 42 is where we'll be beginning this game. So essentially, if Shopify Rebellion win this opening and pick up three kills, then they will find themselves tying up the series at one to one. It's correct, right? It's all correct. And honestly, there's just nice. a lot. There's, yeah, there's, there's a lot on the line here. Uh, the opening strat, the ultimate test of the opening strat. Will they run the same thing? Will they play something a little bit different? If you remember, it was Shopify playing a very, very heavy push out of Cat and getting away with it. They've done it again. I mean, the thing for Pure as well, as you can see the score on the bottom of your screen, is that if they do win this and they got the camo, there is a yeah. comeback possibility. And you can tell because no one's grabbed camo yet. They, both teams know you cannot be the one to make the mistake here. Press the mistake. Going to be a trade out. Only two to go for Shopify Rebellion. And you can see the Druck is being chased down himself at the moment. And it's just, to, just about escape oh. though. And might have oh. a little opportunity to turn this into a kill himself. Four kills between the two teams. This is wild. 48 to 44 now. No room Camo's for error. Still Camo's still up. Yeah. Nobody wants to all in on that camo just yet. Too, too risky. 49. Subside. Does have that shock rifle. Maybe he's going to be the man to watch here. He has to hit one headshot to tie this series up. Can't quite do it this time around, but going to retreat to the teammates. And knowing that camo's still up, then they can bait it. And also, he knows he can play these angles in and around long haul to see if anyone tries to peek. You get the feeling that Pure is going to wish that they had maybe just one extra one to play with, right? They're wishing this was instead. Oh, I thought that was a headshot. 45 to 48. As we said, absolutely no room for error, and it might be the first game that we have where no camo was grabbed at all. A little bit of a reposition here from Soul Snipe as well. Always like it when people do this. Expecting an angle elsewhere. Last shot will be the last death, and it will be Shopify Rebellion who tie up the series at one to one. They will win the little restart battle, and most importantly, win game number two to tie it up. This is a series is on an knife edge right now. Welcome back, everybody. And I tell you what, we are getting some crazy reports from games that are going on outside yeah. of this crazy series we've got in front of us right now. Shopify Rebellion tied up with Pure 1-1 one one after a win on Recharge Slayer. We're also hearing that ITB Esports have taken phase to a game of five as well after being 2-0 down in that series. And on our main stage, Optic are currently up in a game five over SSG. So this is going to be quite the tournament, Andy, as we lock in here for our next game in this series. Uh, I mean... Salt Lake City, yeah. we, we knew the event was going to be special, but this has been pretty crazy so far. I mean, it's wild. What what time is it here? It's, it's not even 5 p.m. on Saturday, and this series tournament has already delivered. I would say that we haven't seen crazy results like this on a Saturday since the Halo World Championship last year, yeah. which just blew our minds. So, as you said, Salt Lake City is off to an unbelievable start. Make sure you have all your tabs open. If you don't have tabs and you have phones, just get a bunch of phones. Get watch. Another, get another television. Get, buy another TV. Go right now if you can. Just get. Make sure as four dead fall for pure that you have a lot of screens in front of you. Take a second. Take, take a second, brother. Me? Me? Uh, there's a or lot them. going on. No, you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but they got it going on right now. Oh my they goodness. They gotta get the TV though. They do. Oh my goodness. Suppressed. As Andy many. is currently googling where to buy TVs locally. As, uh, as many TVs as you can. Still free dead for pure. Druck is going to be the fourth as well. It's a nice clean wipe. Look at the progress already on the board for Shopify Rebellion here. 70% of the way done. Enemy really, really hot start here from Suppressed as well in this game. It's already 5 and 0. It might be more than Russ. The help comes in from Cycle, but Always. it was good enough. How about Cycles with his help? I love the timing. Just when you think someone's going to maybe lose a battle, Cycle just flies in. Make sure that last bullet comes in. Mental also helping the cause. Take a look, the first point does go the way of Shopify very handily. They pick up that one quickly. Very efficient work from Shopify Rebellion. Totally trying to escape front of the base. The moment you see he's going to trade here for Mental Cherish will find two. The Shopify Rebellion, even though they're in and around this hill, will have some pressure coming their way very, very soon. Cycle trying to create a little bit of space and trying to turn his attention to the camo as well. Drunk might be thinking he's getting that one for free, but Cycle forces him off top middle into the melee of Soul Snipe. And even though all these battles for camo are going down at the moment, Pure are grab, grabbing a little bit of time inside of that hill. I think it's the last shot he's seen that opportunity. As you say, slowly picking away here. Talik does pick up two. Eventually, we'll punish on posters. And now, Cycle. A little, ooh, very nice to pick up an extra one on Cherish. And keep things a little bit even here. Still two dead for Pure. A little bit of a peek, a little bit of a prod. Enemy team. Cycle's still alive here. Going to try and double up on teammate here. However, he's going to do a last shot. Great shot. Get the melee, though. Last shot will come out on top of that one. Shouldn't have gotten away with that. The Soul Snipe will still be in and around the hill. The two 
Other players from Pure not really in a position to challenge this hill quite as yet. So there was one top gold. Last shot now arriving through the flowers to try and put some pressure on. And the pressure is felt by Soul Snipe. They have to back up here. They have to reset. And everybody knows how dangerous it is right now to step inside that hill. Yeah, just waiting here, trying to make sure they get the picks. Keep in mind, we are going to see some weapons in play. You just saw in the distance. Get ready for that to enter the fray as well. But right now, heavy loot presence coming in from Shopify. But Yard gets taken over. Here comes the battle. Yeah, it looks like finally the play is being made here by Pew. They're trying to be the aggressors, but it's actually giving the kills that being picked up. Oh, there looks to be some Shopify Rebellion. Three dead on the side of Pew, two dead for Shopify. But last shot equals it up a little bit. Momento will final get the final kill, excuse me, in that team fight, but has to deal with the push now coming in. They might have the timing to actually challenge this. Oh, my. Cherish is in that cell. A couple of missed shots, but the big one connects. And that is now going to set them up to some map control, and they will overtake the progress that Pure have had it to, uh, managed to make in the previous moments. Last shot will be last alive. Yeah, last alive, and you got to wonder how far he is up the map. Looks like he's not going to be able to go. You, you think, ooh, pressure though. Look at Cherish all the way through. Somehow gets through into Yard. If he wins this one, this will oh! be big. Mental! His peak shot around the palm trees here is beautiful. Somehow gets the second one. That's the second time he did that. Two big individual efforts. A bonk of the head as well will get another kill on the last shot. Even more? Oh, oh my almost goodness. did it. I mean, the, the way that the Mena was interacting with that palm tree, I, I want to rename it to the environmentalist. Yeah. Is that fair? I like that. Unbelievable set of plays. I mean, his peak shotting around that post in yard was just beautiful. In both battles, in yeah. both battles, just knew exactly what he was doing. And that now leads us to a 2-0 to zero Shopify Rebellion lead. So Pure on the back foot now, and with two of the death screen, this 1v1 is going to give numbers one way or the other, and Mentor is starting to be somewhat of a presence on the map. He's 11-3 and three in this game. You have to remember, he had a very slow game number two, but it was enough to get his team over the line to tie this series up. Now everybody from Pure trapped on the snipe side coming off the respawn. Mental trying to hit a couple of fancy sticks or at least get a little bit of damage down onto those respawners, but at two to zero, you have so much control here on King of the Hill. Enemy team took the hill. That you don't have to force anything anymore. You can bait that hill, you can force players towards you, and Mental might be about to pick up yet another kill. Yeah, this is so beautifully done. Mental knows with that two kill cushion. Look at all the time. He stays on glass, he gets in, but he goes loop. He knew some of us behind him. Cherish, by the way, picking up two of his own, so that brings things to 2v2 at the moment. But a really nice sequence for Mental. Lost the line for a moment, though. Oh, it survives. Darshot probably thinking about challenging this one bottom middle. Will, but he might be taught a lesson here, but no, it's a big, big win, and that could be a momentum shift as well in the side of Pure. However, 2v2 on the map. A suppress will clean up some damage, cherished. A little bit lucky there, he slid towards where that grenade looked like it was going, but the geometry sent it elsewhere. Ooh, nice win from Cherish as well. He gets a perfect there just off screen against Cycle. Pressure is going to come in on him though eventually. He'll be taken down, but not before doing quite a bit of damage. Yeah, two players, no shields here for Shopify Rebellion, but nobody from Pure in position to angle to take them down. Drunk's trying to do so, but he just falls into the trap. And this is a really scrappy few moments here. All of Shopify Rebellion trying to fly in towards that hill, but that big shot again from Mental. Force his last shot to retreat. Like, like I said, I'm loving watching this battle between them just now. Mental certainly getting the better of last shot with that peak shot, just absolutely forcing him all the way back down. He's got help in a second, though. Nice job here from last shot. Head on a swivel. He's able to do quite a bit of damage across the map. But in the end, Suppress comes flying through. The peak shot from Mental reminds me of, like, it's whack-a-mole, but if it was meant to take two AA batteries, he'd put six in. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> it's way... <laughs> it's, yeah, or like a power conversion thing where yeah. he's using... Uh, the US plug in the UK. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've done that a few times, and you should see how fast Xbox 360s can catch on fire. It's pretty wild. Back to the gameplay, though. 126 left on the clock. Still 2-0. to zero. It's a big hill for Pure. They need to make sure they secure this one. Yeah, Drunk getting away with Cam and that shock as well oh, means he can do things like this. Line up that shot, and now he can be a nuisance. This hill, like you mentioned, though, is huge for Pure. It's kind of neutral at the moment when it comes to progress. And him going down there is going to hurt them even more. Pure has the advantages. They had the map control. They had the hill momentarily. But it's Shopify Rebellion from the back foot who now put their foot forward and will step in and around that hill. One shot here. Should be an easy cleanup for Tolik it is, but Suppressed actually does another bullet or two of damage, which is going to make this hole difficult. 58 seconds left on the clock. 58 seconds is a problem here for Pure as well. The Shopify Rebellion can play that clock a little bit. We'll stop now that Tolik steps into the hill. You can see Cycle's trying to bait him out. Wait for that help to come in. Challenge will come in. Has to be low though. And the cy cycle burning those bullets in the clip makes this a little bit more comfortable for Suppress to force them out of that hill. Two dead here for Pure. Where are the last two remaining members though? Are they able to convert this? It looks like Shopify Rebellion is set up in the hotel. 
Soul Snipe is already killing some of the respawns here from Pure. Oh, yeah. oh, if Flash Out was able to get away with that without trading, that would have been huge. Three are dead, suppressed as the last player alive. Pure is going to be able to jump in here, and they will get this hill now. 36 seconds left. There's plenty of time for them to work with. 36 seconds might not seem like a lot, but it is enough time to get in that hill. It's enough time to hold off a push or two. But they have to move forward first. Two dead for Pure. You can see that Tolik is just being forced to wait right now for his teammates to respawn. And that time is going to start dwindling down, and maybe their opportunities in this series, and in this game in particular, might start to follow as well. Yeah, two dead as well. It would need to be a perfect push coming in in just a moment's notice now. Ten seconds left. Cycle's job is just to hold off this push. Just retreat, get a little bit of damage, wait for your teammates to perfect. collapse onto it, and that's exactly what Shopify Rebellion will do. It's been a masterful example of how to run this clock down in the last few minutes. It's a desperation push from Pure, but they're nowhere near that hill, and Shopify Rebellion will win here 2-1 to one on King of the Hill and put themselves up 2-1 to one in the series. Suppressed 22-9 and nine in that game. Incredible Man, stuff. Heating up. Can't wait to see what the next game will hold. We'll be right back with game number four. Forbidden it is. Our first time. Our first time casting Forbidden, and what a time to cast it. Currently, it is 2-1 in the favor of Shopify Rebellion. We'll get that adjusted at the top of your stream as soon as we can. One game away now from cl uh, closing out this series. About to say cleaning up the series. Clenching. would have made sense. You're clenching. <laughs> and I'm sure the pure, am I ever pure pure probably clenching even harder at the moment. Yeah, when am I not? Let's see what mental could do with this. His last player alive with the sniper rifle, and the pressure is undoubtedly <laughs> coming not only in my nether regions relax, but dude, also relax. on the base. Relaxing more than one way. <laughs> <laughs> Tolik with the overshield off the rip, though, has already got this flag back towards Clean. the sewers. And this is a beautiful run from them. And alongside it, two kills have been picked up by his teammates. So, Pure, this is the start you needed, wow. right? After the last game where it felt like they really weren't ever in control of the map, they're up 1-0 to zero inside 45 seconds or so. So, a perfect start. Have you seen a cleaner start to Forbidden? In, I mean, when's the last time we saw anything like that? It's a beautiful... Oh! oh! Job scares all round. Look at this, great movement from Druck here as well. Just flying around, looping back. Knows the pressure is going to be coming in. What a smooth opening here from here. Soul Snipe versus former teammate. A bit of help comes in from Tolik. On top middle, got damage coming in from Druck as well. He's got suppressed in front of him. He's going to challenge this one. Last shot will clean it up. And that means Mental is now left on his own. Now, does Mental have a sniper rifle? That's the question, because I did see him in the kill feed a few moments ago. Lighting it up with that weapon. A last shot. Did they hear the reload? They did. Stuck him off the wall? No, no, no. Almost. No rebound. Two dead here for Shopify. It's hard to push out. Tolik is going to want to stay alive. Does well to stay alive in the hut. And start to continue the pressure. So Pure just continuing to put pressure on. And this position here from Tolik is a problem for Shopify Rebellion. Just based on the fact that the overshield is going to be coming up pretty soon as well. And when you find that sniper rifle down, and you find suppressed in front of you. Not sure how that isn't a headshot, by the way. Seemed like the only thing you could see was his head. Looks good from here. Shots are good. Tolik finds one. Finally, Cherish will clean up the damage that was initially done by Tolik. And now they can think about progressing a little bit themselves. Or maybe they're just going to play a little bit slower to oh, secure nope. this overshield that was coming up. Not sure where that went. Mental will be taken down by Tolik. And he's still alive in your hut. And it's Cycle who's going to have to go back for him. Look, Cycle's like, I'm going to in Tolik. Taking this into my own hands. Tolik with wait, very good peaks. Wait, 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 Tolik wait, wait, just wait, takes wait, the whole overshield off. Need a minute. Very good shots. Obviously, he had a little bit of help from Druck there in the end, but still, a nice effort from Tolik. Just essentially neutralized the entire OV. Yeah, just great play. More importantly as well, made him turn around, right? Made him go back to his side of the map, which is so frustrating if you're an overshield player. You want to be aggressive. You want to be able to force your way into the base, get that flag moving, but instead he has to turn around, he has to deal with the player behind because he knows what a threat that Toy can be. Mental will take care of him this time. Suppressed. He'll be taken down as well, so you are doing some good defensive work here. Truck able to pick up a kill as well. Mendel keeping a very close eye on that hut and that sniper. Says hello to his teammate. <laughs> Quick wave. Hey, you're here too? Yeah, okay, cool. Where should we go? Let's kill this guy. It's like we're a little bit late on the message, but still saves the life for a few seconds. Druck, diving board to diving board. Not suggested in real life. No, especially not with a no look there. To yeah. look across the base and then go to the other diving board. Trying to land in the water is always the best thing. Professionals only. But now he's on a flank. Does mental know he's here? Looks like he might have had the audio cue. Shot grenades are going to go in. Just kind of reducing the length of the leg hair of the Spartan there by a 
a little bit. Was, nothing yeah, crazy yeah. though. Just a little bit of static electricity into the fray. All eyes going to be top mid pretty soon. Suppressed. Already up top and already connecting. That's a double for him. Three dead. Four dead. Oh, the flag's going to be moving almost immediately as well. Suppressed is going to have it handed off to him. You can see the shields were broken on the player who was initially starting this run. Cherish finds one in the feed, which might make this a little bit more sketchy. But Suppressed has a pretty clear path home. You gotta wonder is that going to hurt, though? Because Cherish has now found two. Let's see if he can go. Should have the space. They got two players on it. This one should go. Yeah, easy. One to one now. 7.46 left on the clock. It's a clean and clinical run from Shopify, despite losing several players on the way back. However, Overshield is in the hands of Tolik, and it will be cool to look at the counter cap on the back of it. Cherish is going to find yet another kill. Tolik finds one in the back of the base. That's going to be three dead here. Cycle is last alive. Damage already being taken, and they can force this one home because Cycle's not going to be able to overextend, but somehow gets the kill onto Cherish, and maybe he is oh going to be able to peek. And Tolik knows it. What did Cycle do in the back of the base? This might have stopped the entire run. Let's see what Tolik could do. Playing for this re spawn kill essentially trying to cycle them once again before they get that flag moving Man. still plenty of time to get that touch they forgot about the that's the question flag, flag will be returned you gotta wonder if Tolik should have sat there and held that angle for an extra second because cycle ends up killing as you said cherished and then essentially also dinging him on that run and preventing it what what felt like it was certainly going to be the go-ahead flag cap does not go doesn't even really get off the stand very much and we will be tied at 1-1 one to one here with 6.44 left. It's a killing spree for Tolik, but more objective work yet to be done. Too dead for Shopify Rebellion as well, and that's why they can't overextend and kill Tolik. Now he turns into the, the survivor to the flag runner, and now they've got the support to try and force this drop. One drop side, followed by two, and if they get past this pillar, Almost. there might be an opportunity for the third. And even though the flag is away, Pure still in a good position to re-slay here. And his position from last shot, he can collapse onto Cycle and Co. And Druck does the cleanup work, so... Is this flag still runnable? That's the real question here. Yeah, Mental has not been taken down. Mental's right on the Mohawk. He's actually going to jump on the re, and he gets Six the re. Seven. Wow. Interesting series of events. I'm not going to lie. It just feels like pure not putting every single piece of the puzzle together correctly on both of those. It felt like there were big opportunities to make sure that flag went the right way. But somehow, you see Shopify holding on really well. They get the flag returned twice in a row. Just under six minutes left in this game. Still tied up at one to one. The overshield is the next point of contention for both these teams. Soul Snipe versus Cherished. Wow. To snap a headshot at that distance with no shields, you deserve an overshield off the back of it. And Shopify hits the counter off the back of it as well. They will now be up two to one with 5.36 left. Pure will get the overshield though. Cycle has the sniper rifle. Does Cherish know he's there? Does the Cycle know he's there? Yes, he does now. Cycle going to be challenging. Needs to hit a big shot here. Does hit the body, but it's not enough. Ugh. Mental will be able to clean this up, but a double kill has created an opportunity and some space here for Pure to get inside of the base. Mental's trying to survive at the moment. You can see that he's trying to use the Threat Seeker to see if anyone can be popping in around the hut, but instead he gets his shields popped because Drug is holding things down with a neon-based scope on the top of that sniper rifle. Really well done from Drug on that angle as well. They're going to have to continue slaying. And shots like that, as we often talk about, are the difference maker on these big, large-scale CTS. If you hit the break, kind of the opening that you need, it really is going to pave the way. This is going to be a much more difficult attempt now. He just slowed down a little bit here. Both flag flags will be returned home. Soul Snipe now pushes up off the back of a little bit of damage. We will find themselves with two in the death screen for now and with information on where Druck is. Soul Snipe controls their snipe bridge, which is where you really don't want your opposition to be. They can just pepper so many shots, wrap through the hut, and maybe be the player to start the run. It's a big win from Soul Snipe onto Druck. Which is just going to allow them to reset a little bit here, Shopify Rebellion. Yeah. First former teammates, that rivalry continues between those two. Look at the across the board, big numbers here from Cherish and Druck at 13 apiece. However, they still trail four minutes left. Overshield coming up. It looks like last shot knows that they're not really in a position to really challenge for this. Oh boy. However, those shots are good. Beautiful. Now from the back of that, does actually be able to put himself in a position to challenge. Overshield was top middle. It was picked up by Cycle, but he's last alive and he's getting mel melted at the moment by mo multiple members of Pure. Melted by multiple members of Pure. <laughs> Don't say that three times in a row, because, yeah, there's a lot of ways you can get that wrong. I'm not even going to try that one. Uh, beautiful job, as you say, on the melt of that overshield. Even though his last player alive, it was still very well handed, handled Excuse me, by the other side. All eight players up. Suppresses the first to fall. Here comes the Pure push. They've only got 3.30 left. Two players trapped in the back of the base as well. It's an opportunity, but Mental gets that first pick in the feed. 
Drux is going to be able to trade it out. Now, can they collapse onto these players? Good awareness here from Cherish to realize that there was a bit too quiet, but nobody was desperate to push out. That means that Cycle was probably trying to overextend, trying to hit a flank to get out. Oh my Cycle. god, somehow Cycle. still alive, by the way. Cycle! Ah! Cycle! From the depths. Wins a battle he had no business winning. It's a beautiful flank from Cycle and just continues to peak from the low ground. Stays there, challenges, and wins the battle. It's plays like that that we might look back on if this series ends in this game. Cycle just being an absolute nuisance at the moment. And if you have to deal with a man playing this well on your side of the map, it's so frustrating. Finally, they, send they will clear him out. But yeah, like you say, it took an army. They had to send three players just to take down Cycle only with a bandit. Uh, just beautiful plays from him, and that has bought a lot of time. The last time we checked in on the game clock, it was over four minutes left, and now there's less than 2.30. Mental in a snipe versus snipe battle against Last Shot on our screens right now. Last Shot does get the break of the shields, but Mental's responsibility is, is highlighted in these, in these moments defensively. He can hit a couple of body shots to close the push down, and even though Last Shot hits one, it's not a good moment because Pure find themselves three dead, and now Mental can reposition himself, and it looks like behind enemy lines, potentially. They're trying to get a flag pull going themselves. Mental now pushes up to try and hit a few respawners. Let's see what they can do. Overshield as well. Clean Overshield with six players alive on the map. He just gets an absolutely clean free Ovi due to the route, also takes down Talik now. They find themselves two, it's about to be three dead at the 147 mark. They can, they can run this. this as could be the well game. as getting the touch. Yeah, this could well be the game, even though the shots are coming in, the overshield are just eating them up at the moment. Mental is running this one down through the sewers. Up towards his base, Suppress finds another one in the kill feed, and Shopify go. Rebellion yep. will be able to camp here, and with that, they will win the series three to one. A fantastic performance from them and against a team in Pure who certainly have impressed in the last two events, but it's Shopify who continue their hot streak.